The first time I wrote a song was probably uh, in my late 20s. I think it was called Think of You and I Smile. And it was actually, um, I wrote lyrics to a um, composition by another musician. And uh, so he had written this beautiful melody, and I said, I'd love to write lyrics to it. And so I, that was my first lyrical writing. When I write a, lyrics for a, a composed song, what happens is I listen to, uh, talk with the composer, find out what the mood is, and because usually they have a title, and I want to find out what, that's, what kind of story I can write about it. So um, uh, the, I listen to both the melody, the rhythm, and what the composer's intention. And sometimes they say, make it, it's fine, make it mean whatever you want it to be. So uh, that's how I w approach lyrics. Sometimes I'm inspired by a melody. Sometimes I'm, I'm inspired by a rhythm. With my own, writing my own material, it's a l l little different. Sometimes I hear a melody and then I'll put lyrics to it. When I was growing up, I listened to what my parents were listening to. Sometimes they had Ella Fitzgerald, Sarah Vaughan, Maxine Sullivan, I remember all these great uh, singers, and also a lot of Broadway and classical music. I used to love, I would just lie down on the sofa and just listen to um, uh, Rimsky-Korsakov or um, Tchaikovsky, whatever, and um, then I'd also do Broadway musicals. I, would, I loved the uh, Carousel, the overture from Carousel. I used to choreograph ice skating uh, dances in, in that. I was into rock in my 20s, and uh, I was into Motown in my, in my teens, and uh, so I listened to a lot of different styles of music, and um, depending on what the message was as far as writing lyrics, that's what I, that's what I chose to listen to, different, different styles from those, uh, different songs from those different genres. The first song, which is going to be the opening song, is a song that I heard Lee Smith do. It's on his CD called My Kind of Blues, and uh, the title of the song is My Kind of Blues. And it had such a wonderful groove to it that I s asked him if I could write lyrics to it. And when I was trying to think of what is my kind of blues, it wasn't my kind of blues. What I like is the real in the pocket kind of mid groove that makes people want to move. And um, so I ended up writing about a jazz club in Germantown called La Rose. And, uh, and I tell the story of what it's like on a Monday night in, uh, at La Rose Jazz Club. Um, the second song I'm doing is with uh, John Swana. It's a very rhythmical, wonderful melody. And um, I love those kinds of challenges. I love to sing that kind of thing. And that song is called Looney Blues. And um, I was trying to think again. Well, when both of the, both gentlemen gave me permission to write the lyrics, so uh, when I was thinking of Looney Blues, what would drive me crazy? Well, I was thinking of a crazy relationship would be fun. So I listened to all the rhythms and the melody, and with with both songs, and and tried to get a feel for it, and spent time writing lyrics and telling the stories. I'm a storyteller with my lyrics. I wish I had all kinds of metaphors and, and analogies and stuff, but I'm not that kind of writer. I'm not that good yet. So uh, <laughs> not that philosophical, but I love telling a good story. And uh, so both those songs, I, I asked the guys if I could do it, and I submitted them for the real book. And um, we got both of them in, because they're great songs. For those two songs, since they're published in the real book, I think you need to stick to the rhythm of Looney Blues, because that Real, that really matters with the song. Um, my kind of blues, I think you can take off on it a little bit and certainly improvise um, with it. Um, but uh, they're, they're both great songs to make your own. You know, but I, I think with Looney Blues, the rhythm is part of the excitement of it and the challenge of the song. And I think you really, it would be great to stick with it, but also do something else with it, you know, improvise with it as well. The four fantastic musicians I chose are Aaron Graves on piano, Lee Smith on bass, Craig McIver on drums, and John Swana on trumpet, trombone, and Evie. And I have to say, I mean, well, I've never worked with John before. Um, I do one song at a, a little at a concert, but um, I've always wanted to work with him because he's a fantastic writer. He's so he's such a great player and very uh, creative, and I would learn so much just by working with him. Um, so it was a no-brainer 
to, to hire him. Um, Aaron is one of the best piano players, especially accompanists. I mean, he's a great musician, great pianist, and great composer and arranger. And he knows how to play for his singers and how to support them, how to push them. Uh, he pushes me, and I want him to push me to go beyond whatever box and limitations I've, I've set for myself. So I've worked with him a lot in the last two years. Um, same thing with Lee Smith, wonderful bass player, just can really get in the pocket in the you know and uh, I learned by I learned so much about the bass listening to him because the bass player is who the singer really should listen to, uh, especially when you're especially when you're improvising so you know where where you are in the song, and Craig is such again an in the pocket drummer he's subtle but man he plays these little great, great things. He doesn't overplay, but yet when he plays, when he solos, and when he accents and... I don't know if he's in this. When Craig plays, he just knows what he's doing. He's solid. He's such a solid player. He can swing, he can do any kind of, any kind of groove, and he's such an educated musician. He's helped me rhythmically break down a lot of the um, micro rhythms and um, he's just great to work with. His fills, everything is so tasty and it's a joy to work with all of these guys tonight. I just, uh, I, I also would like to say acknowledge my mentor Owen Brown because I would bring him lyrics and a melody and he would voice the chords and everything and uh, I, the collaboration was extremely important to me. Uh, I've been studying music with him and uh, singing with him. So he's really helped me to go beyond what I have been doing.